Well, she's got to warm up with these, uh, I'm going to call them dumbbells. They look like they weigh about half a pound. She's getting a good pop going, though. Look at those triceps. With half a pound? How about that? It's all in the technique. Oh. That's the technique. Catch Nikki Rocks off guard and boot her in the midsection. Oh, she just got booted by Nikki Rocks. Poor sportsmanship interrupting the concentration curls of Kelly Skater and a big body slam here. And some squats out of Nikki Rocks. Supporting the entire body weight of Kelly Skater while doing so. Oh, and Nikki just goading Skater and going for that elbow. It's probably the first time in her life Nikki's ever outsmarted anybody. In this match, and right now it's the strength of Martinez coming into play, but Davina able to work her way off the shoulder and drive her into the canvas, but only for two. These people with their learning experiences, Dave Prezak, I don't understand this. You're supposed to win in professional wrestling. You're not supposed to learn. You're not supposed to learn how to lose. That's a ridiculous concept. Well, who's to say that she's going to lose this match? She could surprise a lot of people as she uses her quickness right there to get out of harm's way. But didn't get out of the way of that shot from Martina. Huge shot to the face there. And another one. Brutalizing the face of Davina Rose throughout this match thus far. But again, trying to use that quickness, sliding through the legs, trying to get the sunset flip, and she does. But Martinez with the drop kick again, working over the face. She's picked one body part, she's sticking to it. Both these women would love to pull out a victory in their shimmer debut as get a clean break up against the ropes from Calamity. And both women known for their power and their strength. Calamity, though, gives up a lot of size to Haley Hatred, so we'll have to see what she can do here against her. Both women throwing some hard kicks right to the leg of their opponent. Both staying on their feet until now, able to take Haley down to her knees. Off the ropes now comes Calamity and driving Haley face first into the canvas. Cover, but only a one count. Both women known for their striking ability and Get her off. Let's the go. ability to absorb a lot of punishment continue to battle. Taking Calamity down to an E and a big boot right to the face, courtesy of Haley. And a one count for her as well. Neither woman wanting to give an inch. Face to face they come. Pulls up back to her feet. Irish whip reversed. Running boot in the corner from Oka. And now just repeatedly kicking her in the side of the head. Vicious offense here from Yumi Oka. These fans behind her. And another huge boot. Oka means business. I don't think I have ever seen Delray brutalized like this by anybody. And now going to take a risk, climbing to the top rope. Yumi Oka gets her balance. Missile drop kick connects. Cover! Only gets two. Sarah able to roll those shoulders up. She may be out here, though. Yeah. Well, for maybe a German suplex, but Delray blocking the attempt. Gets a waist lock of her own. Changing the waist lock. Just fighting for who will get the advantage. Sarah pulling Oka off her feet. And into the turnbuckle she goes. The back of Oka's head just bounced off that bottom buckle. The queenly wave. And the combo kick in the corner. Going after the arm now. Submission attempt. Trying to get that cross arm breaker, but the hands clasped together by Oka to prevent extension. Hard kick right to the spine of Mia Yim. A little bit of a taste of the hard striking ability of Khan. But Mia Yim firing back. Throws a kick of her own, but caught the kick right into an ankle lock. And 
I have heard stories, Dave Prezak, of how brutalized Connie used to be. Huge German suplex. But as I was saying, just how brutalized and beaten down she used to be in training at the dojo. So she can absorb a lot of punishment, too. And we might see some right here from Mia Yim. Both women avoiding their opponent's offense, but a kick right to the back of the head of Kana from Mia Yim. Off the ropes she comes, and a kick right to the chest. Just laying into Kana with these kicks, doing her best to try to block each attempt. Catches the leg once again. Waist lock and another released German suplex from Kana, but Mia Yim back on her feet. And a kick upside the head of Kana. Gut wrench suplex to follow up. Into a cover. And Hamada now with Tomaka up. Sit down, powerbomb. Only two. Very close right there. Hamada looking for the moonsault again, it looks like. And Ayumi trying to make sure that Daisy Hayes can't break up the pin. Moonsault connects, cover! Nakagawa kicks out! Nakagawa somehow able to kick out of both the powerbomb and the moonsault. Tag has made Ayumi the legal wrestler. Fighting for the waist lock here as Nakagawa driven into the corner. Double knees right in the corner. There's no way Nakagawa can take much more of this. Ayumi drives the knees into Nakagawa once again. Cover. Raging up to get those shoulders off the canvas. Forearm shot from Ayumi. Blocks the attempt by Nakagawa and connects with the knee. Wasting absolutely no time attacking Ashley Lane. The official return appearance here in Shimmer Women Athletes of Ashley Lane. These two women were the first ever Shimmer Tag Team Champions and now battling here in 2011. Absolutely, and we saw Nevea earlier. She told Ashley Lane, and I can't blame her, Dave Prezak. Nevea and Ashley Lane were, as you said, the very first Shimmer Tag Team Champions. But when Ashley Lane got the opportunity to go to what she considers, what, somewhere bigger or brighter, she just abandoned Nevaeh. Well, I would say that you get an opportunity to uh, advance your career a little bit. National television exposure, you can't hold it against someone. That's ridiculous. These two were supposed to be friends. Well, it was Nevaeh that made the decision last night at the AAW event here at the Eagles Club uh, to turn on her partners, turn on Mischief in particular and uh, cause her team to lose the matchup, aligning herself with Sassy Steffi, of all people. You have a quick roll-up right there from Ashley Lane, trying to end this thing quickly. It's the backslide. Can't quite keep the shoulders down for the three count, though, and Nevea in control of the match. Trying to hoist her up on the shoulders, but Brittany fights out of it. And Melissa gets a Samoan drop. And Dave Prezak, I'm up next wrestling Jesse McKay. I've got to take off and get ready for my match. All right, Portia Perez unable to get the three count here with the Samoan draw. Going for the air rate crash again, it looks like, but Brittany blocking the attempt, landing on her feet. Pounding away on the back of Melissa. What does Brittany have in mind here? Up on the shoulders of Melissa. Able to take her over as the legs cradled, but only a near fall right there for Brittany. Thought that she had her, but only two, says referee Andy Long. Melissa swings, Brittany ducks the attempt. Valley to back suplex right on her neck. Cover. It's perfectly fair, both of her feet are on the ropes. The referee's not going to count. Just a no-nonsense assault here from Portia Perez. Chop across the chest. Backing McKay into the corner. 
driving that shoulder into the midsection, taking away the wind of McKay. Whips her into the corner, charges in, but Jesse quickly moves out of harm's way, lands a forearm shot on Perez. Shoulder into the midsection. Brings herself in, sunset flip. Only gets a two count. Jesse back on her feet, but taken down with the clothesline. Press with the cover. Jesse able to kick out. Alice in danger has got to be rethinking whether or not she wanted this British rounds match. Off the ropes, no sweet Soraya. It's good elevation on that leg drop. Danger able to kick out. Soraya taking issue with Bryce Remsburg's count. She's been known to intimidate a lot of people, including referees. But Bryce trying his best to lay down the law in a match like this and not be intimidated by Soraya. Into the corner goes Allison Danger. And several shots to the midsection. All the way across the ring comes Soraya and delivers the kick low on Danger. Up to the second rope, Hiroyo Matsumoto. Double knees. Nicole might be injured. Able to kick out though, she may be injured. That's the second huge maneuver right to the rib cage of Matthews during the course of this match. And pulling the referee right in the path of Hiroyo. That could have been a disqualification right there. Yeah, Hiroyo might have hit him. She didn't, though. Scooping up Nicole Matthews, plants her with the body slam. And... This should be a disqualification. What is she doing? She's assaulting the referee. He said, ooh, with the weight of the referee as well as herself. Only two. She used the referee as a weapon. How is that not a disqualification? He told her to put him down, and she did shortly thereafter. And now with Matthews up in the torture rack. Converts into the gut buster. More damage done to the ribs. That could be it. Forearm shots from Madison Eagles. Very proud of herself. Comes charging, but back dropped over the top rope, catches herself on the apron. And Serena with the spear sends Madison off the apron and crashing into the barricade. And just firing away now with those signature jabs. But Madison with a forearm shot. Serena with the forearm of her own. Boot to the midsection. Big knee lift. Shotgun drop kick sends Madison into the ropes. Big flurry of offense from Serena Deeb, maybe going for the spear. Comes charging. Madison catches her though and places Serena up top. Who hard chop across the chest. Headbutt. And Serena about to fall to the floor here. But no, firing back herself. Shoves Madison down. Leaping out of the corner, monkey flip from Serena Deeb. Maybe looking for the spear. She's got enough distance, but Madison sidesteps her. Brain buster from Madison Eagles got all of it. Serena with the shoulder up. I cannot believe Serena continues to kick out of this brutal offense from the champion.